Hey, this is Stuart from Tips to HQ, and I've been asked by Odds Market to take a look at the Premier League futures markets for the upcoming 2017-18 season. This video is sponsored by Bet365, so thank you very much to them. And of course, I have written an article for this where I go through the top seven sides. In this video, I'm just going through the top five, but I go through the top seven sides and I rank their chances, and we'll see what I think of them. But as I said, we're just going to talk about the top five in this one, so that means we're going to miss out on Everton, we're going to miss out on Arsenal. We're going to go straight to Liverpool. Now, Liverpool at the moment, you can get odds of 13 with Bet365 for them to be sitting at the top of the table in May. I personally think that's a good way of wasting your money because I don't think this side is defensively good enough. They've got some good players going forward, and uh, it looks like they're trying to do more of the same by more fast, pacey players that can hit teams on the break and uh, play exciting football. But exciting football doesn't always win you the league. Just look at last season. It's about having a solid defence, a good midfield, and strikers that score goals. If you can put all of that together and put it together with the right attitude, then you've got a title-winning side. Liverpool are not that side. Uh, up next, Tottenham. Uh, this is a bit crazy for me. Tottenham, you can get odds with 10 with Bet365. And this is a side that finished third the season before us, second last season, and they're not going to lose any major players. So why are they dropping down? Uh, I really couldn't tell you. Perhaps the bookies think there's going to be more transfer business done than there is. Latest thing I hear is that Carl Walker isn't particularly interested in a move away from White Hart Lane, as we'll still call it, even if it's a new stadium. They're not, he's not looking forward to moving away from Tottenham, and uh, if he's not going, will anyone? It's going to be interesting to see what happens with the Tottenham t uh, transfer news this summer. There'll be a whole lot of uh, talk and rumours, but I think the only thing we'll see is when that player's standing there holding the shirt up. Frankly... I think this is a pretty good set of odds. You can get 10 with Bet365. I think that's the only one that plays out any kind of value. And uh, in this market, value is what you've got to be looking for. Up next are last season's champions. That's Chelsea. Now, they're third favourites. I don't get this either. Uh, yes, they're going to be playing Champions League. And they didn't have that last season. In fact, they had no European football whatsoever. But this is a side that knows where their money is made. So uh, they know which side their bread is buttered on, don't they? They're not going to make a silly mistake and try and go all out for Europe. They're going to juggle things. They're going to make sure that they've got the right time for Europe and the right team for the league as well. There are, of course, some things going on at the club, as always, in all of these clubs. Uh, Diego Costa is likely to leave. Uh, we're not quite sure where he's going to go yet. But, of course, that means there'll be a big name player coming in as well. Uh, Aiden Hazard, there's a few rumours going around about him, and of course he's out injured at the moment, but he should be back for close to the start of the season, if not the start of the season. And uh, this is a side that is under good management, has a strong core, a decent solid base, and should do really well in the next season. I think at 4.33 with Bet365, this isn't a terrible bet. And then you've got the two Manchester clubs. Uh, Manchester United are the second favourites, and I'm really surprised by this. They spent a huge amount of money last summer, they'll spend a huge amount of money this summer, and I still don't think they're going to get too much better. They've already brought in Victor Lindelof, which will help their defence. But he's a new player to the league. It's going to take him time to bed in, get settled down. And uh, all of that combined, I think they could miss out on the top four again. They need to go out and they need to win games and see that you score goals. They've lost Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, Rashford doesn't look to be quite the player that they thought he might be. He's a very good player, don't get me wrong but he's not scoring a huge amount of goals right now. And, of course, they've been playing in wide left at times. So, uh, with Rashford not doing so well, maybe Mourinho doesn't want to take the chance on playing him as the main striker. Rooney's seemingly on his way out. I think there's a big transfer coming here somewhere. And, of course, the talk is Alvaro Morata. Now, Morata's a very good player, but he is another one who will need to get used to the different way that the game is played in the Premier League. Uh, we'll see what happens. Manchester City. And Manchester City are aside making the right kind of moves. They've already bought a goalkeeper, which they needed to do, because last season's acquisition didn't do too well for them. And uh, they seem to be looking to buy defenders, and they need to, don't they, really? I mean, certainly fullbacks, they've, they've let go pretty much their entire fullback roster uh, in the early part of the summer, and uh, they're still looking to bring players in. Of course they are. So, can Man City put the right kind of score together? Can they get the players who are injured back in time? And uh, can you have people like Kevin De Bruyne, who has looked fantastic at times, but struggled at others? You get all of that working together, and this is a pretty decent side, and I think they probably will win the league this season. So those are my thoughts. Head on over to Odds Market, give the article a read, and of course, let us know what you think in the comments section below. 
as well as giving us a like and uh, clicking on that share button. Thanks, guys.